Sonoma County. <laughs> Welcome to some very beautiful new homes today. We cannot wait to show you around. You might be watching this video because you might be thinking about a move into Sonoma County or into Santa Rosa specifically and are targeting something that is pretty move and ready or turnkey. Well, I think we pretty <laughs> much have the perfect place for you. This is our brand spanking new. Brand, brand new, literally building outside as we speak. They're about, about to release phase one, meaning no one's even locked one in yet. Um, these homes are absolutely stunning and they're definitely going to be some of the best new construction homes that we've seen in yes. quite some time. Just the layouts are functional, the construction materials are above average yeah. for sure. The finishes are, are very, very pleasantly surprised absolutely. by the finishes compared to some of the stuff And the yard seen. spaces, wait until you see those. So we're going to take you on a tour of a few of the different homes, but first... I'm Julie Sullivan and I'm Morgan with Sullivan Group Real Estate here in Sonoma County and we help people move in and out and all around Sonoma County every year. We do. We're very familiar with the areas. If you're thinking about a move soon or even out into the future, give us a call. We'd love to help educate you on the different areas in Sonoma yeah. County, help you get a plan in place and be your resource here for all your housing and real estate needs. <music> So I think one of the biggest pluses of these homes is they call them green homes. Yes. Which is cool, we all want everything green these days, but what that really means, you guys, can I tell them? Yeah. Every home comes with owned solar. Yep, it's included okay. in the home prices. When we get to the yep. home prices, you're probably gonna be a little blown away. Remember, these are California prices, Sonoma County prices, so, <laughs> but, you know, comparably to what we see in the market active for resale homes versus these new homes, and they're green, and they come with paid for solar. Not an extra. Not price, not That's an extra. extra. standard. <laughs> so, I mean, they have the Nest Cam, or the Nest um, thermostat, they have the, um, of course, dual pane windows, they have- Low E. Yep, yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. They have, um, of course, the energy efficient appliances, the water heater, the HVAC system. I mean, everything is top notch. It's a 2023 build, so you are really getting the best of the best in these homes and this builder really didn't half step on that so yeah. today we are going to tour a few of the homes um, currently we're standing in the second largest home I guess we'll word it that way um, there's six different plans for all different needs uh, the first three plans are a little bit lower price point the homes are a little bit smaller in square footage, really only a couple hundred feet smaller, not drastic. Um, but the biggest difference is they're a little bit smaller lot size, so you're gonna have a little bit smaller yard. Still spacious, enough room for a small lawn or you know a little patio, yeah. and and you know the kids can play with balls or whatever out there um, and enjoy. And then there's the three larger homes that have a little bit larger square footage for the home itself, and then have these huge backyards. I mean, I know resale single family homes from the 80s, 90s or so on that are gonna need a lot of maintenance in the upcoming <laughs> years that still don't even have yards this big. Yeah. So, I mean, when we're looking at these new build homes between the materials used, the yard sizes, the location, I mean, we are so excited about this. And like we said before, we are getting in at ground level zero because the yeah. first phase hasn't even been released yet. So, should we go to her one of Let's the first homes? We're gonna go to plan two, which is one of the three smaller units, and you will be pleasantly surprised to see how they utilize that space and that yard to maximize all of that usage. So let's, let's go, go, go it. Mm -hmm.
we are just honestly kind of blown away with the um, price points on these homes and the level of construction and the materials that they're using and how truly thoughtful they were with the layouts. Um, we're standing in plan two. Now again, we have three smaller units and three bigger units for a total of six different floor plans. These three smaller units, I'm gonna say, while they're smaller, they aren't really smaller. The smallest is 1,800 square feet, just over, and um, the largest of the three smaller units are um, close to 2,500 square feet. So plan one is a three bedroom, um, you know, two and a half or three bath, that's your choice. Of course, with these new home builds, you kind of get that option to decide upgrades or a little bit of floor plan changes, things like that if you get in early enough. Um, plan two is a, you know, a little bit bigger than that, 2,100 square feet, I believe. Uh, great open concept. And then plan three, get this, plan <laughs> three is about 2,500 square feet. The main home is about 2,100 square feet. So where's that extra 400 square feet, you ask? It is a ADU built into the backside of the home. So it is attached, but it has its complete separate um, entrance. And it's a 400 square foot. It's got a darling kitchenette, a full bathroom, a spacious closet, a bedroom, and a little living space. Unbelievable. How awesome is that? I know. <laughs> How real is that? And, and what's so, the price point on that one? Right, right. So plan one mm -hmm. is starting at about $629,000. Plan two is $649,000. And plan three, even with the ADU, which, hello, that means income, if you're renting that out, is $739,000. That is unheard of. We have such a hard time finding properties with a spacious single family home and a, you know, livable <laughs> ADU. I mean, you could buy 30, 40, 50 year old homes around here at that price point. Well, here you're right, getting brand right. And most new. most of the ones with an ADU that are already existing, those are close to a million dollars. Yeah. It's really hard to find mm -hmm. homes move in ready with a single family home and an ADU for under a million dollars. So the way they have, you know, configured these homes and the thoughtful layouts that they've used are just unreal. Yeah. And the finishes. The finishes, I know, you can kind of see the counters here behind us. There's uh, kind of a white marbled quartz on the island mm -hmm. here. We have this kind of gray slate behind us and then this kind of muted tan gray, I guess you would call um, really cabinet like color. this cabinet color. Me too. As of, opposed to that stark white. It, me too, or the dove gray that everybody <laughs> uses. You know, it's a little bit, it's we're kind so of- dude. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then, you know, looking across here, we're looking at this really spacious, actually, you know, fit for a full family living room or family room here. I mean, they have a huge sectional couch, a sitting area, TVs, plants. I mean, there's plenty of room for everybody to cozy up for movie night or hang out in the afternoons on a Saturday. The natural light yeah. flows. Oh, there's so many windows in, yes. in this home that it's they're really light and bright. And then the high ceilings yes. as well. I mean, these have to be nine or 10 foot ceilings. They're probably nine, but they give you that feeling of extra space. Oh my gosh, absolutely. And, and recess then, lighting everywhere. Yeah, and then following back, we have a really nice dining room. You can kind of configure it a few different ways, and then that leads into the garage access. Um, these smaller units have the garages on the back side, so you'll go up kind of an, a private alley and then pull into your garage. I personally think it makes the front of your house look nicer when you, it's nicer. not taken up with a giant garage door. And you everyone's know? cars in the driveway. Yeah. It's really, it does. It makes it's a the, cleaner the look. makes the street a little bit nicer. And then there's a half bath and a spacious closet there. I mean, it's just yeah. really a thoughtful layout in all three of these smaller homes. I will say, you know, the reason that they're priced a little bit lower also has to do with lot size. The garage is on the back side which kind of makes them a little bit longer, if you will, and then they build up. And then the yard space is a little bit smaller than your standard single family home, but still really spacious. Mm -hmm. We'll show you plenty you of room. Plenty of room if you want to put in a little lawn for the kids or the dog, a patio, um, you know, rolling it, area. Really, absolutely. Yeah. And then there's a gate from there and you can walk right around the corner from where we're standing. There's a little community park um, that is part of this new subdivision coming up, which will be really fun with a little grassy area, play structure, things like that. So I can't really think I of much more <laughs> that you can get for these, you know, mid 600s into the 700s with an ADU. And it's still, I would say pretty, you know, 
minimalistic living in a good way where yeah. these homes there's not going to be a ton of maintenance or care because they're obviously <laughs> brand new um, but then the yards are a little bit smaller and you have a minimal front yard so easy living yeah buy one of these move in live your life and you know what these days that's what a lot of people are looking for don't you agree Absolutely. You guys, Morgan's been here a few times because she's had clients looking mm -hmm. at them. This is my first time to see these homes in the subdivision. I am blown away. It yeah. is some of the most beautiful homes and I can't get over the price point. I know. They're I know. Brand new. I mean, maintenance free. Right. Your roof is 30. You got 30 years on your roof. Your appliances are new. Your water heater, your furnace. I mean, yep. you can't ask for more. You got all modern styles. I mean, yeah. and then you get to pick a lot of the finishes. So if you don't, if you get in early enough and you don't like this color cabinet, you can choose the white or I think they have a darker tone as well and then if you want a different you know countertop color those kinds of you know cosmetic preferences you get to make yeah. so yeah. not only is the house brand new but a lot of the time it's to your preference yeah. which how much better does that get so you don't have to worry we about making those updates kind of early on in this I mean we're standing inside talking because it is noisy outside it is a full-on construction site out there so they're still, these homes are still well underway, except yeah. for these models, of course, yeah. that they've completed. But um, Absolutely. so lots of opportunity here. Yeah, so let's go check out one of the bigger units. We'll give you some of the, you know, final tours of the smaller units and then hop over to what those bigger single family style, larger lots, um, these are the ones that are gonna have the garage on the front. So let's kind of see how those layouts differ from where we are now. Ready? Perfect, yes. Cool. <laughs>
over to what is actually the biggest model in in the new mm -hmm. subdivision. Our last um, tour of the day. <laughs> and it's a looker. <laughs> it really is. You guys, this house can be configured anywhere from three to five bedrooms. Mm -hmm. They have the model configured as the five bedrooms. So you have a bedroom and a full bath yeah. downstairs and then four bedrooms and two more bathrooms upstairs, of course. Um, so you can have a den downstairs and the four bedrooms upstairs, or you can do a den downstairs and the loft upstairs yeah. and have a, a home office space, yeah, you know, down absolutely. here. I mean, there's so many options with this home. It, it is so it's, beautiful. I mean, it's just under 2,500 square mm -hmm. feet of inside living space. So there's a lot of kind of elbow room in these living spaces and then a lot of options when it comes to either having the three bedrooms and a den and a loft or taking the option with all five bedrooms if you got enough kids and family members yeah. for them. I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, we're standing at this huge island mm -hmm. that you could easily sit three, four, five people around. Plus you have a nice large dining yep. space with this huge buffet area. And then again, the family rooms, are, I thought they were very yeah. thoughtful in making them big enough for a family. Yeah, that was some, my of these, problem yeah. With some of these, some of these <laughs> new build homes, not in this community, but uh, some of these new build homes, they build these, you know, 2,500 square foot homes in five bedrooms and then the <laughs> living room is like a closet. Yeah, I, you I can barely say, fit five it's people not in there. A family room, it's a couple room. Right, <laughs> <It's> <laughs> totally 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 big. Big. but these totally. are really big. I mean, they have a huge sectional couch over here that seats, you know, six, seven people, plus more room around, mm -hmm. beautiful um, fireplace, room for the TV yeah. above. I mean, it, I mean, they really did a great job. Yeah. And the natural light flowing mm -hmm. in, I mean, they were really purposeful where they put these big picture windows. And I mean, th these aren't your standard windows, they are oversized to say the least and they For let sure. in so much light which even makes the space feel a bit bigger again we have these high ceilings mm -hmm. and this is like a you know you move in you live you feel <laughs> like you just like hit the jackpot moving in here I mean Julie and I have actually really enjoyed touring oh, these homes so together today. today so fun okay but we have a question what do you guys think about <laughs> the yellow range? I mean, of course they put it in the model home as a little conversation starter. And, yeah. But I think it's kind of cool. And it's these Italian ranges and matching hoods that they put in all the models, which I think is kind of cool. Yeah, I agree. Um, and super fun that it apparently comes in a lot of different colors. I think it comes in a blue, a yeah. red, a yeah. yellow. And of course you can do your stainless or your black, but um, kind of fun. But I think Definitely, definitely a different look than yeah. your standard single family home, especially something that you're going to buy resale in this price point, which this house, again, 2,500 square feet, brand new, built in 2023, up to five bedrooms. You have this big, spacious backyard. I mean, we haven't even really talked about it. The backyard is bigger than, I, I think, almost any new build oh, community I've ever Agreed. seen. Agreed. And it's going to compete with some of the resale older homes, those 1980s homes. It's going to compete with some of those yard sizes yeah. even. I mean, you've got plenty of room for grass. You've got a huge patio. You've got a cupboard that those, um, what are they called? The California? Like California room. California yeah. room where it's just kind of covered over the top. Mm -hmm. And then you have like open air on the side. So it's kind of like a attached formula or something like that. Um, so it's like all the best of both worlds. And then coming down to price, you guys, this house starts at $739,000. It's a value. Go on our website, SullivanGroupWineCountry.com and search all the houses in Santa Rosa under $739,000 and you aren't gonna find anything but quite this nice. <laughs> I mean, it is just incredible. So we are so excited about this community and we know when we get to work with some of you to help you find a home, you're gonna be just as impressed and this could really be a great landing spot. You'll know your price, you'll know your timeline for moving and you get to pick these finishes, whether you like the yellow, the blue, or the red, <laughs> <laughs> or you want the stainless steel, no, no worries there. No judging. Um, you, get to, you get to make those calls and then you get to move in and go and live your life. You yeah. don't have to worry about home maintenance after that. So, Or the expense of those improvements. I think so often when we're out with clients that are mm -hmm. looking to buy and they're like, oh, we'll just put in some new carpet. Oh, we'll paint. Oh, you know, and then we'll do that bathroom. And I think to myself, they're not thinking about what this costs. Yeah, and the time. And the time. So here you, you move in and it's done. It's and done. it's beautiful. Yeah. And you don't have that additional cost and that additional just kind of money suck all the time. Where'd all my extra money go? Oh, that's right. We keep putting it into right. the house. Know. You know, know, kind of thing. So this is, this is a wonderful option. And we have a lot, of, lot more details if you want more info. Absolutely. What a beauty. Yep.
let us know. Comment down below and tell us what you think. Is a new Absolutely. build like super appealing to you as opposed to a resale house? How do these ones measure up from the other ones mm -hmm. you're seeing online? We are very impressed. Yes. As we've probably stated multiple times in every single house. <laughs> because um, we are. Because we are impressed. <laughs> but I mean, they've just really detailed these so well and every every home is so thoughtfully put together so we'd love to hear your feedback if you liked this video don't forget to hit the like button because we love and appreciate that yes. and then if you're thinking about making a move absolutely subscribe we release new content every week wednesdays and saturdays about all things sonoma county and sonoma county real estate so if you're thinking of making that move hit subscribe tap the bell so you're notified when we release more helpful information about all things sonoma county and sonoma county real estate and then, of course, reach out. Our contact information is down yep. below in the caption, and those phone numbers reach Julie and I directly. You'll get us on the phone every time, and we'll chat through any questions you have, any thoughts you have, what that timeline looks like, and how to put the puzzle pieces together to make your move a smooth one. The next time you're moving out to Sonoma County or making a move to somewhere new in Sonoma County. Yep. Right? We are your Sonoma County resource for all things Sonoma County. Absolutely. Real estate and otherwise. Yeah. So we hope to talk with you soon. Absolutely. Thanks so much for tuning in. We can't wait to see you next time. Thanks. Just toured our new home community here in Santa Rosa and boy was it beautiful. We cannot wait to show you. We'll head back to studio now and we're going to give you all the ins and outs and what there is to know about all things new construction homes when you are a home buyer here in Sonoma County. You ready? Let's go!